Yo, what is up? First round of the draft was last night. We got 32 picks, 32 brand new players going to new teams. Let's talk about it. How did you guys feel? I feel like it was a lot different than expected. What do you guys think? It's a lot more trades than I thought that would happen. For sure. Yeah, it was a very entertaining draft. There was a lot of shit happening. Different trades, unexpected picks. Yeah, I don't think fun. anybody expected the Eagles to move up. We're going to yeah. start with the most obvious two at the start. Trevor Lawrence to the Jaguars and Zach Wilson to the Jets. Then I guess you could say San Francisco was a little questionable. Trey Lance, though, was the pick. How do you guys feel about that? Yeah, I think the draft started at the third pick. First two were a lock. Uh, Trey Lance to San Francisco is kind of a surprise. I don't, I don't know. Um, I think – I don't know how he's going to be. I think Field is going to be better than him. Mm-hmm. But, and Lance? Yeah. I don't know. I hope Fields is like the best quarterback in this draft because they disrespected him so hard. They dropped him. At least the Bears came. Chicago came up, traded up for him. Where were we'll they? Twenty. We'll they get were to twenty, that right? Yeah. We'll get to that later. Yeah, but Fields, he's so good. But Trey I Lance. like I like Trey Lance a lot. I think he's going to be good. He, um, if I was a rookie in this draft, I'd like to go to San Fran. They're the best team right now to, in terms of trying to win a Super Bowl, so I like the pick. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he got put into the best situation probably yeah. out of all the quarterbacks. For sure. Yeah, that's what um, you I said. don't know if he's going to start from day one. He's really young, doesn't have a lot of experience. Um, I don't think they're going to get rid of uh, – what's his name? Garoppolo. Garoppolo. Yeah, I don't so. see him leaving just yet. Yes, I don't know if it'll be the day one starter, but definitely pretty good long term pick. So number four with the Falcons, Kyle Pitts. Um, I'd say it's expected. Everyone had him going four. Mm-hmm. Yeah, everyone either either thought they were going to trade back Atlanta or take Pitts. No, I had him mocking Pitts in my imaginary mock draft in my head. They were yeah. saying they're going to get him. They're going to win now. They want to try to win with Matt Ryan, even though he's probably done. I think Matt Ryan's done. I had them shooting but fields he off. He has weapons now, so if he gets some help around the O-line, they might be good too. Yeah, it wasn't really really crazy pick. Nothing out of the ordinary. Mm-hmm. And then here's an interesting one at five. Jamar Chase going to the Bengals. Yeah, um, I feel bad for Burrow. Pick, I, I think that – I don't know if they made a mistake because they could easily get a good lineman in the second round, but their quarterback just tore their ACL last year. And they have a chance to take a, one of the best linemen um, in Sewell in the past couple of years. He's he's graded that high. And I, I just thought they would be it would they'd be the smartest to take him, but I guess they want to reunite Jamar with uh Burrow. Mm-hmm. How big of an influence do you think Burrow has on that pick? Has to be huge, right? Or else they wouldn't have made the decision. Yeah, he definitely that had was it. almost a, a, like a, a no brainer to get. I don't think it was the right decision. They they mm-hmm. got T. Higgins and they have Boyd. They have pretty good receivers, but yeah, you know. Okay, and then number six, Dolphins, Jalen Waddle. Sorry, Giants fans. Sorry. Detroit, Jalen Waddle. What? I mean, oh, never mind. Yeah, Dolphin, yeah. Jalen Waddle. My fault, my fault. The Dolphins. Yeah, sorry to Joe. Yeah, Dolphins. Joe actually made money, so it doesn't matter. Yeah. The Dolphins are fast. I like them. Yeah, yeah. Dolphins got better. I'm most worried about the Dolphins, I feel like, than the Bills or the Patriots in the draft. and like The, the AFC are. East is going to be good pretty soon. Really mm-hmm. good. Yeah. But the Dolphins are fast. They now have Waddle and Fuller. Devontae Parker, too. Yeah, I like Waddle. He reunited with Tua. Dolphins mm-hmm. are looking pretty good this year. Yeah, and then 
With number seven, the Lions picked up N.A. Sewell. Yeah, that's yeah. a good pick. They finally did something right. They showed the war room. They were all, like, jumping around because they never expected to to drop. Because everyone thought the bang was taken. Yeah. Um, the borough, but... They should be really happy they got the best lineman in the draft mm-hmm. at seven. Um, the For team's God. still trash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you That's probably got to put in the worst team in the fucking league, but yeah, if, if they want to rebuild, it's a good start. They got the best lineman. Yeah, you said they necessarily didn't always draft good, so at least this yeah, year. Yeah, they drafted tight ends in the first round. Yeah, they didn't like fuck seven out. Years, they made the best pick they could. Yeah, they, they, yeah, they he was definitely best pick. player available. Mm-hmm. So then next pick is the Panthers. J.C. Horn, first corner to go. Yeah, a little surprising, too. Mm-hmm. Everyone thought Sertain would go to the Patriots at, what, 10, right? Patriots, and, uh, the Cowboys, 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 and then that's when all the trades went down, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, J.C. Horn was getting a lot of buzz, feel like a few days before the draft, and he was moving up. But I didn't expect him to go this early. But I think he's going to be pretty good. And again, the Panthers go defense. Mm-hmm. They're building then, something good there. Mm-hmm. Patrick Sertain goes to the next pick to the Broncos, who just traded for Teddy Bridgewater. So I guess they decided not to go a quarterback because they could have picked Fields, obviously, there. Who do you think if they would have waited maybe to get Teddy Bridgewater, do you think they would have picked Fields? Mm, I don't think so. I think they. They trust Locke, and I think I don't think Bridgewater is going to be their starter. Next yeah, year. I thought he would just be a backup for them. Yeah, I think they just mm-hmm. got him just to be like a mentor to Locke. Um, I don't think they were going to go quarterback, but Sertain's a good fit for the team. Good player. Mhm. So now we have our first trade. Yep. Interesting. Fun thing, I guess, that happened this draft. A trade between the Cowboys and the Eagles. I don't know yeah, the exact so, trade. Yeah, Anthony, if you want to say. Uh, I don't know. Like what I, I just know they swap picks and then okay. they got future picks. But what I was going to say is going into the draft, I'm pretty sure everyone expected the Cowboys to take a corner. But no one really expected the top two corners to be gone. So I guess they just wanted to trade back. Um, get a few picks and then take Mega Parsons, which is also good on D. But the Eagles trade up and get their receiver in Devonta Smith. Mm-hmm. So you think the Giants would have picked Devonta Smith if they, um, if the trade didn't go down? Um, I think so. I don't know. I mean, if. If um if, if the trade didn't go down, I'm not sure. Maybe I guess the the Cowboys would take Parsons at ten, but um the Bears all still would have called and that offer mm-hmm. Yeah, was so good. That's what good. I think. Yeah. I think the offer was so good that they probably were gonna take it trade regardless. Anyway, yeah. Yeah. Because like two I heard, first rounders, I love that. <laughs> all yeah, day. I, I heard they were talking um by the seventh pick, the Bears called the Giants. So this they were talking way before the the, the Cowboy trade. Mm-hmm. Wow! So, so it was they only just called them on draft day? Uh, well, yeah. In in the interview with Gettleman, they he said, uh, um, the Broncos, not the Broncos, the Bears GM called him earlier in the day, and then again during the seventh pick. <laughs> So, okay. uh, so then that leads us into the, the next trade, pick. Yeah. yeah, 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 to the Giants trade, which we already covered, but I guess we'll say it again. The Giants had the 11th pick. They traded with the Bears for the 20th pick, so they swapped picks again, and then a future first round, too, which I think is really good. Yeah, and they got a fifth this year and a fourth next year. Yeah, so... Um, as a Giant fan, I really love the trade. Um, yeah. 
I think when you get another first, it's, it's huge. Um, but we're talking about fields. They took fields. Um, I guess I like fields. Uh, the Bears need a quarterback. Andy Dolan is not it. I think they think it's a good trade. Uh, if if he works out, then that future first won't really be big to them. But mm-hmm. I think they got a good player in fields. Yeah, it's like the didn't they possibly trade two first round picks to pick Trubisky as well? Or yeah, I think they did yeah, trade they up. Did. For yeah, so they like that's like Trubisky. an example of trading two first round picks to move up to pick the quarterback. So. The Giants just benefited from it. I think the same thing. Big dub for the Giants. And then on to the Cowboys pick now. We'll just move over this one unless anybody has anything to say. So they moved down to the 12th and picked Micah Parsons. The corners were good, like you said. Mm -hmm. Their defense is hard. They need to help on D. You got a good player. They could have used a corner more than a linebacker, but they still got a great player. Mm -hmm. They just, yeah, like last. Best uh, defense available, I guess, whatever you yeah. want And then uh, the Chargers at 13. I love this pick for the Sean for Slater. The Chargers. Slater was I do too. probably the second that. best lineman. And I really like... Um, Slater's the nerd from Northwestern, right? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah he's a tough pick. Yeah. Chargers are pretty good. I love the Chargers too. Love her, they needed help on the O-line. They got a really good lineman and... Uh, they can only benefit from it. They need yeah. it, bro. I don't even think they had a left tackle on their roster. <laughs> yeah, no, they didn't, Nardi. Which was they were drafting a lineman yeah, regardless he was like of the whoever perfect, was available. He was like the perfect. Yeah, but they got like a him. really good. No, they got yeah, they got probably. Yeah. I think he's the best tackle in the draft. Bro. Yeah, that was. Um, I think that was a good pick as well. Herbert's then, definitely really happy. Mm-hmm. Then another good offensive lineman going to another the Jets. trade. Okay, yeah. Oh, sorry. Please go ahead. You're right. So the Jets traded um with the Vikings. I don't know the exact trade, but they yeah, moved up 14 was, and got their guard. It was 23 to 14. What did they give up? Not a first round, right? They gave no, up. It was a pretty even it. trade, I heard. Um, they said they the gave... Jets over. What did you say, Jeff? I think the Jets overpaid slightly. The Jets gave up the twenty third. They're sixty six and eighty. Yeah, but they got they got a guy to protect their quarterback now. No, yeah, they, it was a much. The Jets have position. like a pretty premier offensive line now with their they both do. picks, Becton and this guy Tucker. Barrett Tucker's very talented. Yeah. Yes. And uh, Vikings gave up their fourteenth and I think fourth round. Yeah. yeah, it was pretty even. So Listen, I like the Jets picks. They. If you, you can't have too many linemen, and their GM knows what he's doing. So, mm-hmm. trust him. Yeah. I, th- I think uh, the Vikings wanted to take an old lineman as well, and they move back to 23 and uh, still get their guy in there. So. In there as well, yeah. But we'll yeah. get to that later. Mm-hmm. 15 now. So, yeah, 15. The Patriots finally gets the call. The last guy out of the top five quarterbacks. Mac this Jones. is one of the picks I got right in the mock draft. Yeah. <laughs> this was a, a mock draft success. I, I think me and uh, Bags had this. Mac Jones. <laughs> Bags. Um, yeah. I think a couple people thought this might happen. I think everyone knew Cam Newton was not. Nah, he yet. sucks. They signed him to a one-year deal. Cam doesn't they didn't commit to him. I think they got a – I don't know. I think so, Mac Jones is going to be all right. Do you think Mac Jones is their day one starter? Or do you think Cam's going to start? Uh, no, no, Cam is their day one starter. Yeah, yeah Cam's a starter Cam's now. Going. Dude, his on the field great bad one. The biggest That's reason injury. that I didn't want to pick him right away. And He's like injury. one concussion yeah. away from retiring. Wow. But, but he, he was regarded as probably the best pass rusher in the draft. If he had no injury concern, he'd definitely go higher. Uh, I think he's high risk, high reward, and he could be really good, but it could also <clears throat> go south fast if he gets hurt. Mm-hmm. Okay, so we have the Washington football team at 19. Jamin Davis to the oh, football Jamin team. Jamin Davis. Jamin. Oh, there you go. Um, I think the pick improves their defense. Already 
an already really good defense just got better. Um, I think it was a good pick. JOK, still available. I think he's very good. But... Yeah, I thought the Steelers would have taken him. Um, I don't know who the football team tackles are. Can anyone tell me? Does anyone know who they are? No. Yeah, because I really would have liked them to take a tackle there if they weren't going to receive her. Darisaw. or Jenkins. Which yeah. is very shocking. I mean, just like build up that like O line for the offense. Like Antonio Gibson's a good back. Give him another good lineman. Like it's gonna get really good in Washington. I feel... All right, and then we have this one we'll talk about for a little longer. At twenty, the Giants traded back to Darius Tony. Couple Giants fans, let's hear it. Okay, um, I mean, if I could talk first, like Anthony probably knows yeah, a little more are. than I do. Um, first off, like the trade between the Bears Giants, um, just unbelievably good. I mean, yeah. a first, uh, this year, a fourth this year, a first next year, and a fifth like next year. We're just, you could just see like the Giants are trying to build for the future, and just like obviously, Giants wanted a receiver at eleven. All three of the ones they wanted went. Like no reason not to trade back unless we we're going to take Slater. And then um, when I, when we traded back to twenty, I was thinking, okay, like hopefully we could take Bateman. And uh, we took Tony though, who like I talked to my Florida friend who uh, thinks he's very talented. I think he had ten touchdowns last year in a thousand yard season. Not mistaken. I don't know. Dude, if that's I right. was up to like three in the morning last night, and I looked up this kid's highlights. He's shifty Fair. as hell. He's man. shifty, and he doesn't yeah. go down easy. Holy um, crap! I mean, maybe like I know the Giants like to run like some weird screen sometimes, and he was always in the screen game at Florida. I think he's going to be a good fit on the team. Hopefully, he does some uh, dangerous things. Um, I'll talk about my experience during it. Um, so first of all, I love the trade. I love the trade back. Um, so when we got to 20, I really wasn't expecting a receiver. I was expecting more like an edge, um, to be taken or, or maybe a lineman. So when we took Tony, I, it kind of caught me by surprise, but I think, um, going into the draft, we needed a, another receiver. Um, the owner said if we're gonna get playmakers, he got a real good playmaker in Tony. Um, I think he'd be a good slot receiver, really versatile. He could return punts, return kicks. Uh, overall, I'm I'm not too mad. I'm not mad about the pick. I'm kind of happy as long as we get alignment in the second round, because <laughs> that's really what I want. What pick do you guys have in the second? Uh, 47. Moving on to 21 and the Colts. Quiddy pay the end. Adding to that monster the end. Our yeah, D-line the defense that is they had. Be a problem. That they have. Bust. Yeah, um, I was like, all the, I think all the edge rushers in this draft are kind of trash, but to buff up a D-line position and a team that already didn't need it is... Just gonna like they're gonna even if they rotate players, that team's gonna be nice. Yeah, their D is good, just got better. Got the new quarterback. A lot of people think they can make some noise in the AFC. They're gonna win that division for sure. I think they're gonna win the division. Uh, but Quiddy Pay, he's a good player. I think he'll be good for them. Yeah, I would say I'd regard him maybe as like. The third or fourth best edge rusher on my board. So, yeah, he's, not, he's not that good. Yeah, yeah. The edges aren't that good in this draft, but they need it to buff up the position. And I think with Wentz, they can compete. They have a good offense, too. So, yeah, we'll see. Yeah. Okay. Yo, um, wait, can I say one thing, Sean? Sure. Anthony, what do you think uh, Giants are going to do at like 42? Do you think like. If- um, does Jeremiah Musa Carmoa play? Like, nah, out, I don't think he'll ever. I don't think. No, Jets are drop. gonna get him, kid. Jets are gonna get him. Do you, does he play middle or does he play uh, outside? Inside, though? inside. He play anywhere, bro. Yeah, yeah like he's a, like a jackknife. He can play nickel. He can play yeah, fucking was, linebacker. He could. He's yeah, this year's Isaiah Simmons. Him. I'm surprised he didn't go in the first round. 
Yeah, it was shot team going first. Yeah, but then. Joe at forty two, I would lean towards a lineman, a guard, interior lineman. But all uh, right, all right, all right. Twenty two. Yeah, twenty two. My favorite pick of the draft, Caleb Farley to the Titans. Not this already. is the attack, right? Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah, I'm not. Man, I'm so happy with that. Move. Yeah, he had the back surgery, but we needed corners. Our secondary was like garbage. Take we, a chance. We released on everybody. Take mm-hmm. a chance. On him. He's my um top corner on my board. So take a chance on him. Tennessee yeah, wins but... it. I don't care that he got injured. Like I knew he wasn't going to get picked he early. Has, he's learning from a pretty good corner in Janoris Jenkins from when he started. When he is <laughs> now, he's like not that good. Pretty good when corner. He, pretty when good he was corner. on the Rams, dude, he was. When he's on a giant, bro. His uh, prime was a giant. So he had like his prime was like one year, bro. His prime was on the Rams. I guess it's the the Rams. The, don't count. Yeah, Nardi. If they had planned to pick him from the beginning, they definitely got nervous when like top two got picked in the top ten. They mm-hmm. definitely did not think that he would fall that far. Even if so. he went, I think we were still taking a corner or an edge because our we needed defense. Yeah, Greg Newsom was still there, so he wouldn't have had like the worst choices. But um next we have the trade back from the Jets at twenty three. Christian Darasaw to the Vikings. Anthony, I think you like this one, so Yeah, I like Darasaw. I also like the Vikings. Um mm-hmm. in my mock draft I had the Vikings taking a lineman at fourteen, so they hadn't had no trade, but um mm-hmm. I thought they were gonna take a lineman. Mm-hmm. And I think they got a great one in Darasaw. Yeah, this this one went really under the radar for me, especially at Slater was picked the pick before. They were, they knew they were gonna go lineman, and the fact that they could trade back and still get their guy and acquire two third round picks in the process, I mean that's that's a win in my book. Mm-hmm. Okay, the next pick, a big one, is the Steelers. Najee Harris running back. First one to go off the board, Thomas. Let's hear it. I'm not going to say much. I'm just going to say that the Pittsburgh Steelers don't miss draft picks. So you just got to trust the boys up top. They wanted their guy and they got him. They believe that the O line or the offensive. Tree Archer just like falls to face the air. Who? Davis Bryant. What about them? What about him? He was a beast. Oh, yeah? Where is he now? Nard- uh, Nardi, it doesn't even matter about him taking drugs or anything. He was a good player, and they don't miss. So they got their boy. I'm not going to say much. They're going to be better than the Titans again. That's all I got to say. Mm-hmm. That's it. Big Ben's arm falls off. All right, and back-to-back running backs ended up going right after Wait, can we hear Joe's input on Najee? I don't know. Oh, Joe yeah. loves Najee. Okay, um, back to what I was saying. Um, Najee, he's the top running back on my board. I mean, you look at the tape between him and uh, Etienne. Uh, what's it called? Najee just knows how to find the hole better than Etienne. Joe, he's, you don't like Williams? Mm, I haven't done much tape on him, if I'm going to be honest, Tommy. Okay. I've done tape on Chuba, uh, Najee, and Etienne. But, yeah, like I just look at Najee's vision and the way he's able to move in and out of cuts. Like He's just quick. What if about his leaps, on, too? Yeah, if he works on his pass or uh, his catch game to the backfield, I don't think it's spectacular, but like obviously he can catch the ball in the backfield. He works on that. He's going to be a very special player. That's the only thing I think uh, ETN beats Najee in the pass game. So, Joe, do you agree with like the line? you think that the line is deep enough in this draft where they could draft Najee in the first round? Yeah, I mean, I just think Najee's such a special player. He would probably, he's probably like top ten to top fifteen best yeah, players. Yeah, I know. He's like, draft. he's like a top fifteen running back for fantasy. Yeah, right now he, he will easily be picked. He will easily be considered uh, an early first rounder this but, year. Well, I think if we're talking about fantasy, he would only be like a top fifteen pick if the Steelers improve their line because they're going in with. A, the same or worse line next year if they don't draft anyone. I and think with the second no and third, running. I think with so the second and third rounds, they're going to pick a center and a tackle. Yeah, Kate, there's a lot of still good players on the board. Jenkins, I like Kate May. Yeah, it's still a good line. I like the guy from North Dakota State too. Their lineman. 
Dylan Rad Nuds. So, yeah, I think it's a deep draft, so we'll see. So, we, we talked about ETN a little bit too, right? So, you want to go to 26? 25, yeah. Um, you want to go to 25? So, talk about Travis some more. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what a fucking terrible pick by Jack. So, I can't, <laughs> yeah. believe they fucking, I can't believe they ruined this guy's fucking career in James Robinson. Arguably, like, what the best the player f- on their team last year was James Robinson. Yeah, and yeah what the they f- draft the what are you doing? I don't give a f- if Etienne lived with friggin' Travis or uh, Trevor Lawrence in college. Just don't take a uh, running back, man. JOK could have won in this spot. Yeah. They weren't idiots. But, uh, they, yeah. And they say they're going to use Etienne in a third down back situation. Like That's such a waste of a first round pick. I just. I don't know what the point of that pick was. Like, I hope they trade James Robinson, man. Free that man. Free that man. <laughs> he deserves better. Okay. Is everybody good? Yeah. yeah. 26 rounds go corner, and they go Greg Newsom the second. Lost the defense again. I think it's a good pick for the Browns. I think the Browns are going to be pretty good next year. Um, I honestly think the Browns are going to win that division. That Browns defense is insane. That D line is nuts. Yeah, me and Brant are another position on uh, another positional player on defense. I really look at their defense. I'm like, okay, they really need a cornerback. Uh, I mean, you have Denzel Ward, but you need a guy next to him. Greg Newsom is very talented. I'm surprised he can go a little earlier. So. It's great that they got him at 26. I had them going on an interior D lineman who I hope maybe like the team like, like, yeah, like, I don't know. You would know better than I would. Like, do you think Giants need interior lineman or no? He wouldn't take one. Interior O lineman? No, D lineman, D lineman. Uh, I wouldn't want in the second round unless, like, uh, unless a uh, Bearmore fucking falls. Man, yeah. whatever his name is, Alabama kid. Yeah, uh, I had this. I had uh, Cleveland going. This guy, Davion Nixon. I mean, like you just watch tape on him. He's from Iowa. Very talented player. But listen, great news. Some great pick by Cleveland. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I like think it's pick. a great pick. And then another pick that I think Joe likes is the Ravens with Rashad Bateman at twenty-seven. Oh, I, like I nailed pick this pick in the mock draft. I already did. Oh. Nardi, you want to talk about it a little? I think that. The Ravens got one probably. I think the steal of the first round, to be honest. Yeah, they got the steal of the first round. I mean, just what a pick in Bateman. They obviously wanted to go to the Giants. Uh, he didn't. I think personally, like, you just can't pick him, like, obviously above, like, guys like Chase, Waddle, and Smith, obviously, just because off college. But, like, he's my sleeper pick of this draft. Like, he could really be the Justin Jefferson of this draft. He is so talented. He has it all. He legitimately has it all. So, I mean, Lamar yeah, Jackson is going to get someone disgusting. They definitely needed help at the wide receiver position. Yeah, they, they got a nice outside ball threat. target. Yeah. I think Bateman's going to be good. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I think exactly. They needed a wide receiver, and they got what we consider to be a pretty good first round sleeper. So, um, moving on, twenty eight Saints, Peyton Turner, D end. I don't know. Terrible pick. <laughs> Terrible. Pick. <laughs> oh my goodness! Dude, I didn't really went, know much about him going in. They could have went Kyle Trask, and it would have been a better pick. <laughs> Hmm. Oh, man. I don't really All know right. much about this kid. Uh, I don't know. He's an edge, right? Yep, out of Houston. Yeah, yeah like who's still on the board? Rousseau is still on the board. Ojolari still available now. I don't know. I just didn't really know much about him, so I can't really say much about him. Okay, so with the 29th pick, the... <sighs> Questionable quarterback situation, I guess. Green Bay Packers picked cornerback Eric Stokes with Aaron Rodgers protesting. Yeah, uh, I, I, I like. Feel. Pick. 
As a oh, GM, another, it's a good yeah, pick. That, but if you're going to lose your franchise your quarterback, quarterback is completely yeah, already, not getting. Well, he's gone. He's gone. Yeah. yeah. The pick <laughs> cost him Rodgers, and Rodgers is better. Yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, like, Tom's right. Like, if this cost them Rodgers, like, they're, fucking, they're screwed. I mean, I, honestly, the Packers drafted a quarterback last year, and if they do trade him, they're going to get a haul for him, so. And what has he done for them? He, uh, he just lost four eight, NFC championships his last yeah, four. Yeah, but what, so happened, really what have they have. done for him, though? Nothing. Get him no help. I mean, they got him Devontae Adams. He has yeah, a good like, running back. He has a really what, good line. What I think about now is, like, what is a team, like, really going to pay for a guy who's demanding a trade out of his team and is 37 years old? They're not going to give up three first-rounders. I mean, yeah, they're Rogers. definitely going give him two firsts. Even two first, I feel like is a push. Like maybe a team like Vegas gives up a first and Derek Carr. Like Derek Carr and I with Devontae Adams, that'd be kind of tough. If you ask me. <laughs> but um, yeah. Besides the point, Green Bay Packers make a great pick, and Eric Stokes lined up good against Jalen Waddle in college, where I think he's a very talented receiver. So I mean, just replacing that scrub of a guy named Kevin King. So good pick. <laughs> So, next, 30, Buffalo Bills. Pick Gregory Rousseau, I guess. Does anybody want to say anything? I think you should start, Sean, since it's your team. Okay. Well, obviously, I did You wanted defense. Yeah, I wanted defense, so that's good, I guess. Um, I would have liked a corner, but all of the corners that I liked were already off the board. So, I guess that I'm fine with this pick. Um, I think that the D-line is something that needs to be worked on, and I just hope that he's good. So, I don't know if it's a good pick, but I at least like that they're picking defense instead of being stupid and picking, like, a, a running back or a wide receiver. So, I don't know. Maybe he'll be good. Yeah, I think it's a good pick. Uh, he's talented. Okay, so to wrap it up, Pretty close to the end. The Ravens got another pick. Jason Awea. Is that how you say it? Say away. away. Jason Away. I don't know. Good. Go with Patrick Queen, I guess. Good for the defense. Good for them. And then Super Bowl winning Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Joe Great. Joe Tyron. You like Great it, Joe? Great pick. Yeah, I like it. Good pick. Good. Just okay. building our I defense. Like that. I need a good edge. So we will be doing a full draft recap where Joe, we can talk about um, JC Horn a little bit more and Patrick Sertain, that whole situation, whatever you want, in the full draft episode that's going to come out a little bit later in the week. Thank you for watching. Winter Circle Sports Pod.